हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर तारिक मसूद थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर पार्टिसिपेशन एंड वाचिंग माय वीडियो विद आउट योर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन वी कैन नॉट मेक दिस चैनल अ ग्रेट सक्सेस वी आर अ पार्टनर प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट डन सो फार वी एज अ टीम कैन कन्वर्ट अ चैलेंजेस इन अपॉर्चुनिटीज and opportunity into a success stories these success story can be converted into a dollar values thank you very much again now i am still discussing decisions making earlier we have discussed problem solving then we discussed reality testing today we are going to discuss impulsive control before my lecture i used to read a quranic verse ربی شرحلی صدری و یسلی عمری وحل العقدت من لسانی یخ و قول رب ذتنی علما اوکے ایز وی ڈسکسنگ لیڈرشپ ورسٹلٹی انڈیکس سو وی آر آن دی اسٹیج 2 ایموشنل انٹیلیجنس لیٹر آن وی ول ڈسکس پرسنالٹی اسسمنٹ اسٹیج 3 اینڈ اسٹیج 4 آرگنائزیشنل بیہیویئر ایموشنل انٹیلیجنس ا بیلنس ایموشنل انٹیلیجنس مینز satisfied with life and content a demonstrated happiness includes a feelings of satisfactions contentment and the ability to enjoy the many aspects of one's life it is different than the other emotional abilities in that happiness it comprises of a four key segments top layers first is a self regard If you could improve one facets of your life, what would it be and why? Aside from material things, what is it about you that makes you truly happy? Number two, optimism. When are you the least optimistic? How could your outlook be improved in these situations? When faced with the new challenges, how do you typically feel? list your emotions and think about why you feel this way number 4 interpersonal relationships are there times when you struggle with your relationships if so what causes the struggle and how do you remedy conflict and miscommunications do you have a mentor do you act as a mentor to someone else So number 4 self actualizations identify what you value most in your life are you spending enough time on the activities most important to you what legacy will you leave behind it so that is how the balance emotion intelligence is working so on my next slide i'm going to take you on impulsive control okay uh, as uh, i am discussing uh, impulsive control lesson number 3 of uh, decisions making a uh, decisions making uh, earlier i have discussed problem solving reality testing today i am going to discuss impulsive control lesson number 3 what is impulsive control resist or delay impulsive to act so following are the key take away points from this lectures number 1 understanding impulsive control emotional implication of impulsive control social and behavior implication impulsive involuntary learning from regret and stress tolerance that are the six elements will be take away after this lecture okay now i am model of emotion intelligence slide decision making earlier we have discussed problem solving reality testing this lecture already available on my youtube today i am going to take you on impulsive control before going to start impulsive control i will just recap self perception self expression interpersonal and brief about stress management self perce- perceptions comprises of uh, three elements self regard self actualization and self awareness what is self regard is respecting oneself while understanding and accepting one's strength and weaknesses self regard is often associated with feelings of inner strength and self confidence number 2 self actualizations 
is the willingness to persistently try to improve oneself and engage in pursuit of personally relevant and meaningful objective that leads to a rich and enjoyable life. Number three, self-awareness, which includes recognizing and understanding one's own emotions. Okay, now self-expressions also comprise of three elements, emotional expression, assertiveness and independence. So the emotional expression is openly expressing one's feeling verbally and non-verbally. Number two, assertiveness, involving communicating feeling, beliefs and thoughts openly and defending personal right and values in a social acceptable, non-offensive and non-destructive manner. Number three, independence is the ability to be self-directed and free from emotional dependency on others, decisions making, planning and daily tasks are completed autonomously. So that's how the things happening as far as independence is, is concerned. Okay, now interpersonal relationship. So first interpersonal relationship, empathy and social responsibility. Interpersonal relationship refers to the skill of developing and maintaining mutually satisfying relationship that are characterized by trust and compassion. Number two, empathy is recognizing, understanding and appreciating how other people feel. Empathy involves being able to articulate your understanding of another's perspective and behaving in a way that respect others' feelings. Number three, social responsibility is the willingly contributing to society, to one social group and generally to the welfare of others. Social responsibility involves acting reasonably, having a social consciousness and showing concern for the greater community services. Okay, now I will give us some brief about stress management. First, flexibility, stress tolerance and optimism. So the self, so, <clears throat> so in flexibility, is the adopting emotions, thoughts and behaviors to unfamiliar, unpredictable and dynamic circumstances or ideas. So that is flexibility. Stress tolerance involves coping with, coping with stressful or difficult situations and believing that one can manage or influence situation in a positive manner. Number three, optimism is an indicator which show a positive attitude and outlook on life. It involves remaining hopeful and resilient despite occasional setbacks. That is how things happening into stress management. This, this would be my next trail of lectures, three lectures which I'm going to discuss next couple of weeks. Okay, now uh, we are working on decision making. Earlier we have delivered lecture on problem solving, reality testing. Now we are going to give a complete trail on impulsive control. What is the problem solving? Just a recap on problem solving. Is the ability to find a solution to problems in a situation where emotions are involved. Problem solving includes the ability to understand how emotion impact decisions making. Okay, number two, reality testing. What is reality testing? Is the capacity to remain objective by seeing things are they really are. This capacity involves recognizing when emotions or personal bias can cause one to be less objective. Number three is impulsive control which I'm going to discuss in detail, is the ability to resist or delay an impulse, drive or temptation to act and involves avoiding a rash behavior and decisions making. Okay, impulsive control, lecture number three, resist or delay impulse to act. Principally, 
it demonstrates the ability to resist or delay an impulse, drive or temptation to act and involves avoiding a rash behavior and decisions making. That is impulsive control as far as decision making is concerned. Okay. Now, I am going to discuss a first slide on impulsive control, resist or delay impulse to act. Impulsive control involves understanding appropriate times and ways to act on emotions and impulses. And the importance of thinking before acting, someone who is generally able to resist or delay impulses to act. Your stable nature helps to put people at ease. Co-workers will feel that they can predict your behavior and will open communication channels with you. Your results may indicate a tendency as demonstrated below. Number one, deliberate and opt to survey a situation before responding. Number two, control your emotions and impulses to act. Number three, considerate of sharing airspace, ensuring everyone has a chance to speak. Number four, somewhat impulsive under times of stress or pressure. So that is for segments or tendency we must consider when we are going to discuss or act in order to address our impulsive behavior. Okay, impulsive control, resist or delay impulse to act, impact at Walk, emotional implications. Your emotions are usually expected visitors. You experience them, learn from them, and then take action based on this emotional knowledge. This deliberate experience of emotions prevents you from acting erratically when an emotion presents itself. Okay. Impulsive control, resist or delay impulse to act, impact at work. In my earlier slide, we have discussed uh, emotional implication, impact at work. Now we are going to discuss uh, social and behavior implications. Number one, your ability to remain focused, delay temptation and generally making rash decisions has tremendous interpersonal and professional implications. Leadership requires flexibility. What it is an attitude focus and deliberate planning that results in corporate buy-in. Number two, you are likely respect for your ability to stay the course and think before you act. There is still room to improve your impulsivity, particularly in times of stress or extreme temptations. In such instance, you may find it hard to resist impulsive to act which may lead to rash decisions or behavior you will later regret. So in my next slide, we are going to discuss impulsive inventory and learning from regret as far as the strategies for actions are concerned. So now we are going to discuss strategies and action in my next slide. Okay. As I discussed in my earlier slide, impulsive control, resist or delay impulse to act. In my earlier slide, we have discussed uh, emotional implication, social and behavior implication. Now we are going to discuss strategies for actions. So impulse inventory, there is still room for you to grow your understanding of what types of situation cause you to be impulsive. Number one, conduct an inventory of what makes you impatient or impulsive. Think of the last couple of weeks of work. What reaction did you have that you which you could take back? Write a list of what triggered these regrettable moments. For example, such as being a court of God, team conflict, etc. Number three, being aware of specific triggers will help you plan to avoid them or practice your emotional response before they are going to happen. So. Now, next, in my next slide, strategies for action, we will discuss learning from regret. Okay, impulsive control, resist or delay impulse to act, strategies for action, learning from regret. Rewrite the situation where you act impulsively, 
can help you see the positions, positive effects of deliberate contemplative actions. Number one, for situations or decisions where you act rashly, try to identify the emotion you were experiencing at the time. Was it frustrations, anger and hopelessness? If you could rewrite the situation, what would you have done differently? How could you have exercised more control? Number three, use example of how you wished you had behaved as a goal. Try to demonstrate this behavior in the next two weeks and make note of any positive effects your more controlled behavior has on yourself and those around you. So now we have discussed learning from regret. Now my next slide we will going to conclude a balancing emotion intelligence as far as impulsive control is concerned. Okay, balancing emotion intelligence as far as impulsive control is concerned. We have compared problem solving with flexibility, stress tolerance and assertiveness. The sub skill that differs the most from your impulsive control is stress tolerance and assertiveness. Improving the interplace between these sub skills is likely to significantly impact your overall emotional intelligence. So impulsive control will lead to stress tolerance. Your problem solving is higher than flexibility. Balancing these components often involves considering different solutions to a problem. Use solutions that you know from experience will work, but be receptive to new approaches when they may offer a more optimal solution. Remember to maintain a flexible stance through all the brainstorming process to help generate as many solutions as possible. So this was uh, my last slide as far as impulsive control is concerned. Thank you very much for you watching my video and your participation, your contribution and subscribing our channel. Please send me your feedback and comments t.mazood.dr at path.edu. Thank you very much again and stay blessed.